Hi, Sagittarius. Okay, let me frame these up. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Page of Cups, and we have the Devil, Major Arcana. So the Knight of Pentacles, uh, this is always an interesting knight to look at because this knight is sitting on his horse and he is not in motion, he's standing and he's looking. He's looking beyond, holding on to that large pentacle and just kind of taking stock or observing his lands or the lands, perhaps his harvest. So with the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight is um, uh, really going to take advantage of the Pentacle type of energy, which is grounded, uh, common sense, practical energy can be slow moving and represents a lot of hard work and a lot of um, devotion to the task at hand. Making decisions based on probably empirical evidence, like every day I'm writing out, I'm seeing what's going on before I make any decisions. There's a sense of doing things uh, on your own pace, uh, very responsible, very de dedicated and devoted, and again, hard working. So someone who feels uh, that it's his or her duty to take care of things that you feel responsible. So at the office, you may feel responsible for the team meeting about deadlines or milestones to make, or uh, feeling that you need to get a hold of finances and really sit down and track them, look at a budget, uh, figure things out. So the Knight of Pentacles brings this very uh, conservative, sometimes, energy, which is based on you know what I see, what I have in hand here, and what's the plan, making the plan. So it's this grounded, stable energy. Then we have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is youthful. Um, uh, the, the, the desire to have these experiences sincere in their feelings and wanting to develop uh, more experience when it comes to emotional attachments or emotional experiences or, or just really connecting to others. And so the Page of Cups can be an offering, can be an offering of love, it can be a, an opportunity to connect with someone, to have a, uh, you know, a friendship attraction, a relationship attraction, but there's something there that is that warm and loving feeling. So I just want to share a Page of Cups moment which happened recently, which I really made me think about, wow, that was, that's what the Page of Cups is trying maybe to tell us. And that was in my classroom, I had a, I had a, uh, uh, an au pair who was volunteering in my room and she was from Germany. And in Germany, she's studying to be a teacher, so she's in university. And she would come in once or twice a week and work with some of my students and a lovely girl. And at the end of the year, talking about her plans and what she was doing and, and how much she was going to miss working with these children, she's uh, very emotional and was crying out of tears of joy of just the connection and the connection that we had. And I thought, you know, that to me is what the Page of Cups is all about. It's the connection between people that you develop over time, perhaps, and that, you know, when you're young, you get exposed to these deep friendships that you can develop or these emotional ties. And it's rewarding and it's happy. So it was a happy moment, but I could see the emotions of it was, was a lot. 
and again I'm older I have lots of experience and so it was just I just thought this is this is how I see the page of cups it's the opportunity to really connect in a meaningful level and then with all the love that we have the desire for connection the planning that we try to incorporate within our life and then the devil appears in a reading and this devil the glowing red devil eyes straight ahead very focused and we have the the couple here kind of uh, submitting perhaps maybe that's the word to think about with the devil submission is letting uh, letting the attributes of the, of the devil win or come through very strongly and you know the devil comes into our lives it's the actions it's the behaviors that we do that stunt or limit our growth or our progress and so it can manifest itself in many ways overindulging in food overspending um, materialism uh, obsession other types of deviant things substance abuse I mean the devil is just uh, it's, it's the missteps or the things that we that do to spite ourselves perhaps and so with the devil sometimes we go merrily along or having a grand old time and we really don't think about how we're kind of thwarting our energy and our efforts to to um, reach our goals so this is I think a gentle reminder to pay attention to what we're doing our actions and actions have consequences and you know the devil can be there whispering in your ear no it's okay just do that no big no biggie go ahead and do it and it can take you back a couple steps so when you're mindful of that and when you're able to say you know I'm gonna take a break from this I'm gonna try to stand up here and walk away and deal with whatever it is that I do to to hold myself back so people see the devil in many different ways they may see it as being in debt they may see it as um, uh, cheating third party but really the devil can appear in many forms and it's the form that takes you from being your best self from reading uh, reaching your highest uh, purpose in life it's there to trip you up so uh, the uh, the, the contrast between the page of cups and the devil is very interesting because the page of cups again it's coming from a very sincere earnest and youthful and inexper inexperienced place and and you know the knight of Pentacles is looking in this direction as if to say I've got I've got experience in this you really need to sit down and think about things and plan things out before you move forward so that's what I see for Wednesday um, let's take a look at the numbers we have 1 2 and 15 that's 17 17 reduces to 8 8 is about personal power it's about progress accomplishment recognition and then let's get a little more information from the Oracle cards assertiveness the situation this situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved we will stand right behind you as you speak your truth 
giving you strength and guiding your words? Well, I would say that uh, in life, we learn a lot about ourselves and uh, it takes assertiveness of mind and will in order to deal with the things that we'd like to do better. And sometimes you just reach that point and you say, today I'm going to change. I'm not going to do that anymore. Or I'm not going to be that person. So I hope that you have a wonderful Wednesday. And I hope you found something helpful here today. If you did, please subscribe, uh, like, share, and comment. And I'll see you tomorrow for another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.